So we got a call for a full-size pickup that has driven down to Babylon Mill. They can't get back up the Clay Hill, so they gave us a call to see if we could help them out. So that's what we're gonna do. We got Rhett here with the weather. It's about 50 degrees, rainy, really cloudy, but it's a really beautiful day. And of course, we've got the ever-popular Colin on the camera. I'll be swinging your camera today and bringing you guys a quality picture. He's talking like a true cameraman. So I don't know what your experience has been, but my experience has been this. You have two windshield wipers, and if one of them starts to do a really bad job, it is always the driver. But today, for the first time in my life, we have the unique situation of the passenger windshield wiper failing while the driver one's still good. It's hard to see on the camera, but this one is definitely worse. Definitely, yeah, that one's definitely leaving streaks. It's not doing a good job. I will say that is impressive. It's some sort of anomaly. Here's my theory as to why the driver's always goes bad first. It's because that's the one you're actually looking through all the time. So the driver's windshield wiper is working harder than the passenger because more vision is passing through the windshield. Prove me wrong. So when you drive on these unimproved roads in Southern Utah, you gotta kinda know what's going on and what to look for because it changes. So when it's dry, the sand is the thing that gets you and that's what people can easily drive on right now because it's raining. And when it's dry, you can easily drive on the clay. You won't even know it's clay. It'll just seem look like dirt to you. But now that it's raining, the clay wakes up. And look at that, man. It is starting, it's starting its transformation. And that's what's stopping it from getting up is the clay. Dry sand is rough, but wet clay equals bad day. We're perched up on top. We are about to get into this clay dugway. It's quite steep, quite narrow, quite twisty. Um, we have rescued multiple vehicles on this road in these kind of rainy conditions. I expect today to be similar. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna put this in low range. And we're gonna drive down this hill with caution. This, they probably are just nervous. I don't this, think it, I don't think it's really bad enough to not make it. But that's slick though. It's grease. It's just grease. That's what it is. Just remember, this mud is nothing like that Georgia mud. It is. What's the Georgia mud? The, the Georgia mud's that deep stuff that you can drive through. Oh but yeah. But this stuff is like. You can get stuck at a half inch of yeah, this stuff. Yeah, you can get stuck in a half inch of this stuff with super swampers. Well, that might be the customer right there. They would easily be able to get to that point. I think somebody's tried here. I am going to turn around right here. So, have you tried going up that? I haven't yet. Okay. We we're, were slipping a little too much coming down. I just didn't feel too comfortable doing it. All right. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in it. I'm going to send Rhett in front, and if we run into any trouble, then we'll hook them up. Yeah. But I'm just gonna give this a shot on the way up, see if we can do this. All right, so we've decided to just try under our own power at first. Is this four wheel drive? Yeah, it's on the left. That's oh yeah. Okay, we're in too high. Let's go down, all the way down to four long. This should be easy going. Dad, you gotta open these. No, 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 like they're child locks. Oh. Then you open them. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Come on, child. Thanks. What size shirt do you want? 
<laughs> Would you like one? Yeah. All right, right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Hey, you too. All right, I'm letting Rhett drive out because I don't want to. That job wasn't too bad. I do not blame him one bit for making a call. He had hasn't spent a lot of time driving that truck in those conditions. The camera doesn't show it. Maybe a couple of you that have been down here can back me up on this. It's kind of a treacherous little road that's willing to pitch you off the edge. We've, we've rescued a lot of vehicles that were in real big trouble on there and we did a recovery once where somebody went off. So I'm glad they made the call. It's a beautiful day and it was a really nice drive for them and for us. So we got a call for a flip side by side. I guess the guy jumped it and broke off both of the front tires. I think he got life flighted out of there. Hopefully he's okay. We're gonna go grab his machine for him and take care of it. We got Colin. It is a beautiful sunshine day. It is 54 degrees. Just a gorgeous day. Matt is currently filming reaction videos for the app and he's doing a live stream. So for those of you who don't know, we have our own app. We release content on there that isn't shown on YouTube. Go check it out because it's good stuff and you might like it and you get information sooner than on YouTube. Correct? And discounts on our merchandise, all sorts of awesome perks to it. Go check it out. We're gonna go snatch this up as quick as possible and get on out of here. We'll get them out. If the bus can make it to the top of the world, This can make it to the top of the world in two-wheel drive, but it's a lot better ride in four wheels, so we're just gonna lock in the hubs. So, this is a really dangerous spot. There used to be T-posts here and markers, because this is a very steep drop off. It looks smooth, it looks like you can hit it fast, but then you just fall out of the sky. There it is. Just like that. Okay, let's try that. What do you think happened? I think he came off of this. Oh yeah, you can see his launch pad right there. Yeah, he came off this peg bin and I bet you it went over. It's a really sketchy hill. So, looks like one of them's still all intact. The right tire just broke off on that knuckle. I want to see down, if this runs. If this runs, I want to drive it back and then I want to pull it back on more level surface. Well, let's see. Is there anything looks like there's wrong with the rear? Nope, looks all good. Okay. All right, so me and Hefe kind of came up with a plan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the razor and we're gonna put it where the Morver is at. We're gonna try and back it up right there. The Morver will be up there. Once we do that, we'll load the razor on and then we can back up and we can get the run up we need to get out of here. And we can go home, back to the shop. I like that. We're just gonna watch this tire. We don't wanna break anything else off. No, let's pull it. So, we're having trouble steering the rear end, so we're just gonna pull it on up with the winch, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Move this ramp over. We're, we can we can put it on there. Sorry, I just crushed you guys. But uh, it's going smoothly actually. We got it perfectly. Now we just got to get the front end on there. So Colin and I got it all loaded up. Now we're just gonna haul it out. Can he drive this thing out? I was just straightening out. 
Oh. <laughs> Just getting prepared for the actual one. If you turned down just a little sooner, you would have had it. Okay, right there, stop. Now turn down and come. We're headed out of the dunes right now, Razor in tow. So we got it all loaded up fairly easy, quick easy job, and we've only been on it for an hour. So we're heading back to the shop, we're gonna get it offloaded. Hopefully we make it back in time for the live stream. So we got a call. Yes, Rudy's Adventure Design gave us a call this morning. He blew a radiator hose. We are bringing him fluid right now and a screwdriver. Beautiful day, it's about 50 degrees. And of course, Jake is with us. Hello. But we'll get up there, drop off the stuff, and make sure he's good to go. So do you want the story of what happened? Yeah, of course. I'm gonna give the guy who did it a chance to defend himself, but it first, wasn't it wasn't me. <laughs> he put the radiator hose on. That's okay. I, I completely trusted him. Until now, now the trust is broken. Trust is gone. So I pulled up here and uh, I'm like, this is a good place to stop. Turn the Jeep off and then uh, just sitting there a second. I'm like, hmm, what's that noise? Like I heard something tinking and I'm like, I'm just checking the supercharger because we just barely put that on. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Like, no, why? <laughs> anyway, let's get this hose on. It's like off the motor right now. Oh. Right down here. That is sweet. This is my favorite dog in the world. I don't want to own him, but I love seeing him. He's a handful. What trail are you guys going to hit? Nothing now. This oh. was it. We hit the sand dunes. I wanted to test out the supercharger. And it was working, uh, okay. It I got great. it, I got it. <laughs> Was that the lowest fall in the world? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, coolant. I thought you said you got water. I was going to, and then Dad said, here. This is luxury service. You're getting the good stuff right now. In the middle of the desert, I could charge you a lot of money for that. <laughs> so, I'm sure in a video you've seen that we gave Rudy a uh, tape. Okay, Rudy. Right there. So Rudy is currently heading up to one of his childhood memories, which is called the cabin. Some family it's friends. It's a cabin. It is a cabin. <laughs> and he's going to go find some VHS players up there, which I'm sure he will find. <laughs> it's the only one I know of in existence. Okay, go start this thing up. Yeah. To your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have fun. We'll see you guys later. See you, Rudy. So we got Rudy his stuff. We got to play around for a minute. Got to joke around with Rudy. Got to hang out with his dog. It's a good day so far. We're going to go back to the shop. All right, we got a call for some kind of adventure bike that's stuck in the sand. Or the guy says he's been riding around in the sand all day but can't get it out from the spot that he's at. So we're going to go help him get his bike out of there. You might ask why we're in the Moor Bear and not the Bronco. Because the Bronco's being worked on right now. It's getting portals. And that's why I have staging glasses on. I was doing some fabricating and I forgot to take them off. The weather is about 50 degrees. It's kind of windy, partly cloudy, and it's a beautiful day. Matt is off somewhere in Nevada out of cell phone service right now. So we're going to go handle it and see if we can get him out. This is our camera crew right back here. Hi. Hi. All right, we'll get him out. So these adventure bikes, they're no joke. They're like 500 pounds. Or more. Yeah, it would be hard for me to ride one just on the road. It's like the weight of a four wheel, but with only two wheels. I think we're gonna try and help lift you instead of pull you with the vehicle, just so we don't bend anything. 
good enough. Oh yeah, it's to the frame. <laughs> Sheesh. Brett, do you think we can pivot it? Oh yeah. Okay, you grab that side. Maybe. I think we're gonna wanna run and have the rear tire spin. Yeah, holy oh, cow. We're gonna have to pull that back in now. But a dirt bike you can just pivot. Can you get on it? Uh-huh. And we'll lift you up. Does it have reverse? No. Okay. Then can you get on it and then try and steer it around and we'll help lift keep your keep you off the frame. Okay? <laughs> you stay on it driving and we'll pull your front end around. Let's try that. That was a workout. All right, that bike was heavy. We just used the trick that we do with our dirt bikes. When you get the rear end down, you just turn them like that, and that's how you get them out. We got our workout in for the day. There's one shirt. Thank you very much, you guys. Yeah, no problem. Thank you all. Good luck to you. I hope you didn't get too worn out. No, no good. Thank you, guys. Yep. Yeah. All right, so that was a quick job. Only took 15 minutes, and that's including travel time down there. It went fast and smooth. Thanks for watching. All right, so we just got back and they are doing the live stream right now, but this is what you'd get if you yeah. filmed into the app. And that's the thing, it's funny, I get on trail rides and people are like, um, I'll, I'll be, I'm like, they're like, are you nervous? I'm like, yeah, I'm nervous. I've never been on this trail in the daylight without pulling a trailer. 